Hey Primary 6 Math Prodigies, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of math mastery and today we're going to go into question number 4 of your assessment paper number 10. Now this question is a little bit, uh, requires a little bit of critical thinking. That's what they like to do in PSLE nowadays. Um, during my time, they did a lot of that but apparently they have toned down a little bit. So you guys are actually having, I think, a better paper, an easier paper maybe, I don't know. Um, but Apparently, it's more difficult in certain questions, which is what I've done for this uh, assessment paper. Okay, so this question is a little tricky. Uh, it's a little confusing if you don't understand it, but let's take a look at first. It says the average height of a group of children was 139.4 centimeters. Okay, so average means basically what? If you were to add up every single height of the children, and you were to divide it equally by the number of children, you will get 139.4. Okay, um, when Mr. Tan measured and recorded the height of these children, he wrongly recorded one child's height as 192 centimeters when it should have been 129. So, as a result, Mr. Tan calculated the average height as 142.4 cm. So, instead of 139.4, Mr. Tan actually calculated the average height as 142.4. Basically means that he actually made the whole group of children uh, average height taller than what it's supposed to be. Because he made a mistake in recording 192 instead of 129. So, the question is, how many children were there in the group? Okay, for you to, to do this, you have to understand the concept of averages. So, let me give you a simple uh, idea. Let's say one boy over here is actually 130 cm then one boy over here is also about 13 no 128 cm then we have one girl who is a bit taller than all than these two and she is 140 cm and then we have another one who is a little bit shorter and he's at 122 cm okay so what is the uh, average height of this, if this is a girl, sorry. What is the average height of these people? It's basically 130 plus 128 plus um, 140 and plus, oh, sorry, 128. Where's my calculator? Ah, here you go. So 130 plus 128 plus 140 plus 122. So that total height is 5 to 0. How many people are there? There are 4 people. So that means the average height is 130 cm. Excuse me. Total height is 5 to 0. Okay? So now, let's say if I were to record... Oops, sorry. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Let's say if I were to record the number wrongly and let's say I recorded 180 instead of 140 what will happen to the total it will increase by 40 marks as well so that means it becomes 560 and what will happen to my average it will increase by 40 divided by how many four people that means it will be increased by plus 10 cm which means that the average height will now be 140. Now notice one thing very important here. Okay, an increase in 40 of the total height will only show up as an increase in 10 cm in the average height. So what is the link between these two numbers? Okay, if you were to divide these two numbers, 40 divided by 10, you will get what? The number of children. So now that you understand this, um, now we can do that question. Okay, so basically the link again is the total uh, difference, okay, minus uh, divided by the num the actual difference will actually give you the answer of your number of children. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, with that in mind, let's take a look at the question again. It says that he measured wrongly from one nine from one two nine to one nine zero. Correct. So what is the the actual difference? Actual difference is 190 minus 129. So 190 minus 129 gives me 61 marks. But what is the average difference? The average difference is uh, 142.4 minus 139.4. So instead of one, wait, uh, let me see. Hold on. So instead of actually getting 139.4. 
he actually got 1 for 2.4. So when you minus, you get the average difference, which is what? 3 cm, right? Yeah, 3 cm. But the actual difference is 61 cm. So what was the link again? The link is if you take the actual difference divided by the average difference, you will get the number of children. So 61 divided by 3 gives me the answer of a. Eh? Let's read 61. 129, 190, 129, oh, 192, sorry, 192, 192. So therefore, 192 minus 129 gives me 63, sorry. So 63 divided by 3 will give me 21. So therefore, the number of kids there is actually 21 kids, all right? So this is the difference between actual and average, okay? The average is here. So 63 divided by 3 will give you the number of kids. So that is how we do this question. If you got that one right, very proud of you. Give you a big high five because you are a math prod. Good job. All right. And that brings me to the code of the week. The code of the week is if you work it, if you work it, it will work out. Okay. So basically, like I said again, please, 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 please follow my advice because my advice has worked for myself and for most people who've done this same exact method. It's not something difficult. It's a bit leche. Yeah, it's a bit troublesome, but it will worked out. Alright, with that, this is Coach Saiful signing off saying you are a math prodigy. Good job.